No, the yellow one's still out there. They didn't they didn't get it yet. Yo, what's up everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Wednesday, February 14th. 2020. Or it's Valentine's Day, right? Alright, happy Valentine's Day. We got some love. In Warhammer Online. Ooh. I'm about to spread some love here with our career rank 30 Chapa. And we got a guard too. Oh heck yeah. The rain, it's raining. Whoa. We going into that? We going into that? It's a trap. All right, it's a trap. We're gonna take it though. Huh. Slice. All right, yo, yo, yo. Help your boy. Help your boy. Okay. I don't even like running in there though. What's going on. Guess I should have stayed with the dude who was guarding me. Where's he at? Dead? Oh, he was with me. Red goose. Bad goose. Who's bagels? He was with me. I guess Zoro, he wasn't with us. Where was our healer boy at? Damn. Oh, we only got one healer. All right, redo. And kills the one. <laughs> oh, jeez. And they just killed our healer. All right, we're just going to hang around a little bit, I think, here. Ooh. Look at a black guard though. Going after a kill. Got a little bunny. Got a little bunny. We got someone, y'all. You getting healed somehow? Boom. Oh. We'll take it. Dead hand. Oh, they're all here though, y'all. We dead. Going out swinging. Getting jumped. Get jumped in this game, man. Jump or be jumped. You can change grip. You can change group. <laughs> change group. Who's talking? Who's talking to smack? Yeah, we're getting owned. 18 to 3. Hey, we got three, right? Be grateful. All right. On Valentine's Day. Oh, I'm still feeling a little sick here, but starting to get better. Man, it's like two weeks in, dude. I was sick for four days. Started feeling good. The fever broke. Had like the flu. And then I woke up in the middle of the night sweaty as hell. And I felt normal. I was like, oh, shit, I feel good. And the next day I was outside playing a little baseball with the kids. I was doing squats. Overhead press. I was doing the monkey bars, pull-ups. I'm like, yeah, feeling good. You know, I was out there breaking a sweat. T-shirt. And then boom, next fucking day, dude. Sick again. Got freaking prep throat or some shit. Man. And I just been sick for another four days, dude. Crazy. It's wow, DJX. Damn, just putting me down on the ground. I thought we got healers, dude. We got three healers now. Man, all right. Taco, he's just learning. He's level 17. He got a cool name, though. Taco. You better get banned, though. Taco. Whoa! Taco! That's too common. That's been trademarked. Can't have a trademark name. Gums, is that trademarked? We don't know. Huh. Possibly. So we got the event going on for Valentine's Day here. The night of murder. But do we have um No, we don't, alright. 
There's no double XP, or maybe it's just not the cemetery. There is drops too, I'm pretty sure. Not the presents. But it is something. It's the thoroughly lob nogs, these things. Mail the kick tall it's cracked, then a noggin back to its owner. How do I do this? I can do this. Bloody postmaster. Oh, okay. So you just click it and you, you mail it to the dude. Yeah, that's pretty funny. You send him a, the bouquet, you get the roses. Okay. And you get a handful of filthy hair. That might be useful for something. I just sold actually useful hair for like three gold. So probably useful in a potion. People can make some. I ain't even running out there though. We're chilling. On to the next one. Oh, on to the next one. All right. Yeah, the throat's feeling a little better. And dude, the glands are swollen under my freaking jaw. Mm. Crazy too, because yeah, my immune system must have been low. Felt like I was starting to heal. And then I, I was easily picked something right up. Boom. Pick something else right up. The low immune system. I gotta get some Wim Hof going on here. We running out there? Witch hunter in the fog. Fog. There he is. Okay, they gonna kill me? Detailing them all. Healer. Got a healer. Shaman. I'm the only one with low health. Shaman. That taco again? Taco fucking sucks. Taco fucking sucks, dude. I guess he's just learning. He's level 17. But he don't heal for shit, dude. Oh, he's DPS. No fucking wonder. Both of our shamans are DPS. Jesus fucking fuck. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. It, the only thing is we're going to be paired with him all day. Damn, Paco. You don't help when you're a DPS healer in tier one, low tier. I know it's cool and everything. But what are you doing? Oh, we got some mail. Congrats on level 30. Thank you very much. Ooh, 30 war crests. Take those puppies. Oh, yes. We're happy about that. Healing is such an important part of this game, dude. If you don't have healing, man, you can forget about it. You can forget about it. So I don't know. I think it's cool that they let the healers have a different tree. They could do a DPS, but they shouldn't list them as like, I have mine color coded here. It shouldn't be green. They ain't healers. Just make them orange, dude. They're DPS. The only healers don't count them as healers. So when I, that's probably too much coding, right? They're supposed to be fixing the, the cues where you need two healers, two tanks, two DPS to start. Like it's going to try to balance the, the classes. Maybe. Can they do that? I don't even know if they're going to be able to do it. To be honest. I hope they can. All right, keep your set. It's a five piece set. Two, three, four, five. It would be nice, but then the new complaint is going to be, yeah, you're going to get paired up with DPS healers. That shit is so rough. I don't even think I want these potions, but I'll hold them for a second.
All right, we're up to 41 Bitcoin. 41 bits. 41 Satoshis. I don't know. Bitcoin's probably going to start doing its thing now. What is it today? The Bitcoin price. I think it's up over 50K now. Let's take a look. Hmm. 51,624. Oh! Yeah, whatever. Once it goes, you know, I'm probably gonna stop talking about it. It's an important thing. You know, it is the question of our life, of our time. You know, the hippies had their thing. The people, you know, everybody has a, a generation defining topic of some sorts, you know, and ours, you're, if you're alive right now, man, you know, our generation is money, man. Believe it or not. What is money? A lot of people aren't thinking about it. A lot of people don't give a shit. One of those things where we just take for granted. Oh, money. Yeah. That's that thing that I buy shit with. <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't give it much thought. As we, it's just a thing in our lives that has always been and it never changes well technology has changed that y'all now there's the new money on the scene <coughs> now it's opening up all types of questions about the current money that we got how messed up it really is you know and you can learn about it it's not like it's hidden out there it just takes a little bit of effort but more people are learning about it and it'll just be natural more people are just going to come to the better money they're just going to naturally by survival instincts in your brain you'll you'll choose the money that's harder to create that's worth more You will just naturally store your wealth there, store your value, store your time in a money that someone else can't create for free. And that's going to be a hard realization that a lot of people are going to, are going to learn the hard way. You know, people aren't thinking about it right now. We're just going through the motions. Money is money. Whatever I can buy, whatever I can use to buy at the store, that's money. But when that money betrays them, and they're going to be like, what do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean my money's not worth anything? I trusted you. I trusted you. How could you debase my money? What do you mean it's not worth anything? You know, I mean, that's just a harsh realization. So you need to take responsibility for yourself. Put in the time, just a little bit of time. Learn about what is money. Learn about what money is. And you'll do yourself really good. Because if you're just relying on other people to take care of something so important in your life as money, <laughs> ah man, it's naive, man. You can't rely on other people for money, man. They will debase you. They will reduce your stash and increase their stash. That's the way it works. That's what humans be doing. That's how we get down. All right, we got Taco back with us. Taco's back, y'all. We're getting kills, though. Huh. Get that dude. Get that heal on this boy. Come on. Come on. Get him. He blocked me. Bleed. Put the bleed on him. All right, we, we must got this Doc doing heals. Doc's putting it in. Who's back here? This guy. He's running. Oh, dog. Oh, you little bitch. Nice kill. Nice kill. That little Nomi, though. He got away, that little Nomi. So you get these thoroughly lob nogs. You can just right click them on and mail it. You send it back to your dude. That's pretty cool. That's pretty funny. Little social aspect to the game. 
All right, did we get this new move? Sit down. Oh, this is my uh, knockdown. Oh, dang. I got a knockdown. I gotta start using that. I got too many abilities and not enough keys. Or not enough squares, whatever. Ability things. Djax, what up, Djax? Where you going, baby? Where you going, Djax? Don't go nowhere. Yeah, we're coming. I'm coming down. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. All right. Nobody wants it. Rainbow laser. I thought maybe people wanted a little bit of that rainbow laser there. But if not, okay. Put the rainy cloud on me. Come on, bring it this way. I'm bringing a party, y'all. I'm bringing a party. Yeah. I'm bringing the boys. Here they come. There they are, Dak. There they are. Go get them. So that's the question of our age, man, of our life. What in the hell even is money, dude? What in the hell even is it? You gotta ask yourself that. And once you figure it out, you know you can play video games and wait. People think it's a joke though. You know, I had, I had one dude comment and he was like, help family Bitcoin, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, whoa, bro. Yeah, people think, you know, people think it's a joke. Because it's so absurd, right? It's so crazy. It's, it's so heavy. It's so big. Why are we attacking this tank? That it seems like, how could, how could something that big even be, uh, like, considered a question? All right, we got to roll. We got to get out of here, y'all. We got Taco healing us. Be careful. We're going down here. Wait, this dude. We got to stay grouped. Doom girl. Doom girl. So I'm just lucky. I'm just grateful that I at least started thinking about this. Like I said, it felt like I slid right under the door. You know, the shit was closing. Lights were going off, noises were being made, beeping and shit was happening. And that big ass door was just closing. Like, bro, better fucking start thinking about money. And then I did, and then I started putting years, years of just learning about money. Here we are today, still learning. Interesting, man. Super duper interesting. That's the thing too. You know, you got to find like uh, what what's interesting to you and When you're young At least when I was young, you know, nothing nothing was really interesting video games <laughs> So fun. I mean sports sports were interesting to me Help me taco help me taco Fuck Damn taco like sports, you know, I was interested in sports, video games. That's about it, dude. I didn't give a shit about money. Nothing. No. You just got to find really what's interested in what you're interested in. I want you to become an adult. You can't rely on your parents anymore. You're like, oh, I got to move out. I got to buy a house. Oh, shit. I got to pay bills. I got to buy my own food. Oh, I was, I was getting a res. Shit. Then you're like, oh, well, I have a need, right? Now I have a need to figure out money. And that's how it happened with me. So the Tron Legacy. Oh, shit. Did you switch to the dark side? We talk about from order to Destro. Destro all day, baby. Destro all day. Destro is my one true love. Yeah, I mean, I, I do have some order dudes. Oh shit, they knocked me in it. Oh damn, all the way across. Yeah, yeah, Bright Wizard. That's my highest level or order dude. He's a level 40. Bitcoins. 
but I have three level 40 Destro tunes. And I'm trying to get two more. Yeah, I I like the Bright Wizard. We got a standoff. I thought you were just another statistic to the blob. Always. All I am. Just a blob. We just we just feed over here. We just feed. Yeah, for me, um like the city, learning the city. It's hard to learn and on order side. You know, I know Inevitable city. I learned that Just trying to learn the order city and also the dungeons That shit's a pain in the ass There's what bastion stairs And gun bed like you can run those On both sides, but you know, I don't know I play both I like to go to the losing side really whoever's losing Count me in that's where I'll be. Whatever team's losing, Destro or Border, I'll be on the losing side. Yeah, you go to the side which need underdogs all the way. Yeah, that's how I like to be too. See, I'm feeding right here where we just lose two in a row. That one was actually even though. I'll take I'll take my lumps, dude. Take my L's. 21 kills to 20. That was a good battle. Yeah, we need a healer. We got fucking taco. I mean look taco. He put up he put up healing numbers there So I don't know he's dps, but uh, he did lead our team in healing I really can't complain much about that He did all right. Good job taco You did it Taco healed Good boy I mean, he's a shaman. You really can't get mad at shamans, dude. Best class in the game. But yeah, mid tier, tier one. It's hard to it's hard to roll a healer and not heal, Bane. You gotta heal, dude. Your friends need you. Am I queuing discording? Yeah, I'm queuing it all. Discording. I just do everything right here. Join all the queues. Discord it. Whoever's whatever, you know, everything that's here. I have no blacklisted. Um, I join it all. But yeah, that's the thing. The the the, the pre maids, the um, whatever it is, the balancing of the queue. I think they're gonna. We were just talking about that earlier. I think they're gonna fix it. Are they gonna fix it? That's planned. Today feels like a Friday. Does today feel like a Friday? Does it? What do you say? Yeah, it's like a Friday. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. All right, we're late. To the back. We got a guard too. Oh snap. Hey, we got a good team. Yeah, I hope they can fix it here with the healers tanks i mean this looks like a nice party here it doesn't have to be exact but i would say at least one tank at least one healer and then just roll one tank one healer per party code it like that and that's how we do it yeah you gotta hope your your tanks guard but that's play style i don't think they're ever going to fix that right oh damn they booting me away i want in i want in yo i want in Put a bleed on on these boys. I want in. I want in. Push them back. They're pushing us back. Come on. Don't be scared, y'all. Ejax. All right, we're being scared. I can't detaunt. Yeah, most mid-level tanks are two-handers. I know I was. But you can still guard, so you're still doing your function. With a healer, if you're not healing and you're just DPS and then you're not doing your function. But even with a tank, just just even if you're not sword and board, two-hander. If you're a two-hander, you still guard. Hey, you're doing your thing. You're absorbing that damage. 
Well, people are gonna play how they play. No, no, mainly DPS. Uh, I have been playing DPS, but no. I, I heal. That's my main. Shaman! 78 Shaman. And then I got my second dude is a Chosen. And then a Squig Herder, and then a Bright Wizard. Yeah, Squig Herder. Bright Wizard. Chosen. And a Shaman. But my Shaman is my dude. My main. That's my favorite class. Yeah, it's the most. I like healing. I just like shaman. I mean, they're so versatile. Are we really chasing you? I don't think so. Chill out of them. Get out of there. Can I send one of these heads? Yeah, healer's super versatile. So even if like your party's not sticking together, you can just heal. Heal yourself. You just have a lot of survivability. If you're if you're DPS, you know, you're super dependent on your team. Where are we going? Getting this flag back here. You run into the blob. And if your team's not healing you, your team's not guarding you, you're toasted. Oh shit, they're here, y'all. They rolling up on us. Dead. Here, here comes our team. They're coming in late, but maybe they can do something. Come on, y'all. Get up in there. Oh, Brandy. Brandy offering me a rest. Thank you, Brandy. Brandy. Let me knock this guy down. Oh, I need to be uh, buffed or something to knock this guy down. Justice. Justice pistol. Fuck out of here. Did I hear about the other server? The server which will not be named? I tried to type it in the chat. What are you talking about? Interbellum? Interbellum. I typed it into the chat. Interbellum. And it stars it out. It was like a curse word. On return and reckoning server like why competition is good you know people think that um like competition is bad like let's say um a, a restaurant right is in the city or somewhere has a storefront then if another restaurant comes across the street oh that's competition is bad yeah it is competition but it, it pulls in more people competition is good it helps you guys compete if it's just one company doing the thing there's no competition they have no incentive to make the game better it's better for the players now yeah it might not be good for the developers well i would say it's good for them too because it helps them challenge themselves i think it's better because now there's competition if there's no competition then return of reckoning is just going to get shitty But now Interbellum can come out. It could do some things good. It could do some things bad. And Return of Reckoning can look at it. <clears throat> and it could decide to use it or not. Uh, let's see. Auto mod held a message. Sex based terms. Up the ass. All right. We're going to allow that. Up the ass. We allow that here. Is that sexual? Oh, damn. Shit, sexual up the ass. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the fuck? Ow. That's not sexual to me, dude. Up the ass. Flame, flame up the ass. Oh, flame under that ass. All right, okay. We got flame up the ass. Flame under the ass. Gonna do one of three things. All right, are those the two things? Flame up and flame under, or is that the is that one thing right there? Flame up, flame under. Yeah, it's gonna put a fire under their ass. Yep, that's true. All right, that's what I'm saying. It's competition, you know. 
but one thing that is bad because they're um yeah it could kill return to ranking i don't think so though because i think what what's more likely to happen is um people are going to realize how good return of reckoning is <laughs> because it's so hard to make a video game and, and the people at interbellum are going to realize it's, it's hard and once if their passion dwindles and it's going to it's going to help people appreciate return of reckoning more i think and at least it has the chance to do that all right is this the one that's buffed no we don't have a weekend rank then during this event only during the weekend <laughs> I think at first it'll do that interbellum will will pull some players a lot of players and it's gonna be the hot new thing you know what i mean it's the hot new thing turn to reckoning you'll see a downward in player count but that's good because now like you said they're gonna have that flame up the ass they're gonna have that fire in the butt and they're gonna have to do something yeah, it's so hard to make a video game. It takes so much. So they're going to come out with some stuff. And you know how the players are. Players are going to be talking shit on Interbell and be like, this fucking sucks. You guys suck. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's going to be trashing it and everything, you know. And then everyone's gonna be like, wait, guys, it's alpha. Oh. And then people are going to realize Return of Wrecking is actually good. They're going to appreciate it. So hopefully it's going to do good things on both sides gonna help the player base hamper down expectations by appreciating return of reckoning and it's gonna help the developers of return of reckoning get a fire under their butt to provide some good things that the players want like the queue system if they fix the rocks i'll stay on this certain what where the rocks hold you the rocks catch you yeah dude everything grabs you <laughs> i don't know some people might like that dude it's uh it's immersive it's an immersive world. Damn, did that guy get booted or he jumped? I want some of that. Come here, boy. He's just gonna jump down to somebody else, right? Let's go, one-on-one. -on -one. Ah. Ah. You know, no damage to him. Uh, slicing. You getting healed or something? Look at my healer. What's my healer doing? Taco! What the fuck you doing? Oh shit. Look at Taco down there. He's trying to run back into spawn. Damn, Taco. That was a little, that was an early. Yeah, rocks do get you killed, dude. Especially if you're on auto follow. <laughs> but maybe that's why. Maybe that's they're there for a reason. All the auto follower dudes. Uh-uh. There's obstacles in this world. Taco, how you let me down like that, Taco? Dang. Taco just left me out there. He ran away, dude. You couldn't throw me some hots from, from long range? Yeah, I'm curious, though, to see Interbellum. I'll, uh, I'll do it. A lot of people are going to be reluctant, though, because they got all the time on this server. You know, you're going to have to re-roll. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to try it, though. I'm curious to try it. Come on, get him. I see him down, baby. Somebody else come back to our spawn. This way, this way. I bring it. Yeah, it's going to be the same. As long as it can have... It's going to be the same game. And the fun factor, you know? If they could just keep what the players want. Rather than ignoring the players. It'd be good. Yeah, it is. I think it's going to be good. Now, Interbellum, they're talking about having all these crazy classes. They're going to have a stealth class. Stealthy shamans. The shamans are getting a stealth class. Yeah, when I first started playing, dude, Order owned. And I mean, look at this right here. Order's owning the shit out of us right now. 22 to 1. So, I think it's uh, it goes back and forth. You have to play both sides to uh, really see that it's not the it's the the queuing system. I, it's maybe it's just the game the way the game is in general. It's a it's like a domino effect. It's a the blob. It, it, once one guy dies on your team, then the next guy dies, and it's just this train of just 
this mob just wave of just crushing your whole team i think it's just maybe that's just the type of game it is <laughs> i don't know orders all sob and warlord while destra is half that yeah um my shaman has seven of eight sovereign I need one more piece but yeah order is definitely i think geared up yeah we'll see i think interbellum is going to show that it's hard to make a game hard to make a game but it's going to be a net positive i think Return of Reckoning will take what they want, what they like from Interbellum. They'll take what the players like from Interbellum. They'll put it in here. And Interbellum, I just, I just don't think they'll be able to deliver. You know, I'm hoping for a good game. And something to spice up Warhammer. But it's, too, it's hard, dude. Hard. Very difficult. And... Got people working on it. I think it's part time, right? People don't make money on this. I wish they would release this code. There is something. Is there? Uh, I'm in this forum or this Discord. What is this? So I'm in the Interbellum Discord, but I'm also in Project War. And I think there is some sort of open source code for Warhammer. This is what a lot of the games go to. Everybody just sits in the spawn. It's over. It's still a fun game. I mean, is there any good MMOs out there, dude? I guess World of Warcraft. You know, I used to play WoW for years. And then I played this after WoW. I just stopped playing it all together. 34 to 1. Damn. Yeah, for, for PvP, right? What is even out there? Crazy to think that a game from what? 2008? Game came out 2008. And there's there's really nothing like this out on the market. I mean, dude, if we could get a reboot of Warhammer Online in Unreal Engine 5. Dude. I think what happened though, so the whole industry went from MMO where you level your guy up long term, like over a career level one to level 40 or 80 or 70, whatever the level cap is. It went from that to like a Smite or a League of Legends MOBA where instead of leveling your, your player up and then meeting in PVP with different gear, and levels where it's it's less balanced they everyone joins the game in a moba like league of legends or smite fresh we're all equal and then we level up through that game itself we get our gear progression we get our level progression we get our ability progression we you know through gold and stuff like that in the game itself and then after the game we reset everything resets I think that's what, uh, come on, let's go. Get him, 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 get him. And we can't even get this thing. Yeah, every game has battle pass, definitely. That sucks. Everyone copies everyone really here. Come on, we can't kill this? A chopper and a witch elf? Rush, where'd that witch elf go? Hey, all right, we can't even do nothing. The witch off went somewhere. I don't know where you went, girl. I'm trying to do anti heal though. We dying. So maybe if there could be some sort of mixture. Because people don't like that. You know, people complain about that even today in this game where you got people with sovereign gear and you got people with fresh 40s not fair right so what solves that smite league of legends where you join the game everybody's exactly the same level exactly the same gear and you go from there 
What is it? What's the AAO? Auto attack? What's that? Is that what that is? Auto attack output? Oh, against all odds? What's that? Against all odds? I'd like to make a game, dude. I mean, I talk about it a lot. Maybe with uh, the AI. Oh, okay. So that was another option I was thinking too. It's the buff you get in open realm versus realm when you're down people. Okay, yeah. I mean, people don't like that. You know, it's an option. It's like a natural progression, you would think. Like, look, if they're down, give them a buff. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's like the natural. So that's in this game right here, Warhammer? Did this guy res me in the middle? What? Yeah, people don't like that. But what's the answer though? And what's what's the answer? It's a huge market, I think, for it. A huge opportunity. If somebody can make it happen. It's just very hard to make a game. And people that have the money and have the the manpower to make a game they're not just gonna do it unless the the market is definitely there people are playing it and everyone copies oh against all odds okay so what's this mean destro gets 80 percent whatever oops putting it in there Then the other one, Dragon Wake. Order gets 78% buff. What? Okay, I didn't know they I didn't even know they had that. Why don't they put something like that out in these scenarios? When it's 26 kills to one. I mean, if they're gonna do that against all odds in open world PvP, realm versus realm. Why don't they put that in fucking scenarios so that it's not a one-sided kill fest? I mean, even if it doesn't work, the fact that they got the idea and it's in the game, that seems like, hey, throw it out there. I'll try it. I mean, right now it's just, you know, get a group up. The, the answer is to get a better team to farm the other team. <laughs> Make your team better so that you can farm. It's the opposite? Okay. Yeah, I didn't even know they had that, dude. I had the add-on or something. Yeah, I just did the um, Vinny UI add-on. It has a bunch of add-ons in it. But yeah, I did not know that they had that. Why not throw that in a scenario so people don't get farmed all the time? I mean, shit, you have it in uh, Realm vs. Realm. Jeez. Yeah, I am a noob. That's one of the things that helped me with these games, keeps me playing. Because I I'm, I stay a noob for years, dude. I don't I try not to pay attention to shit too much. I just be out here having fun. I don't take shit too serious. You know, I'm just chilling. And it helps me not get pissed. You know, just keep it cool, you know, keep my priorities in life. I'm just playing a video game to play a video game, man. Just a game. I ain't making money off of this. So that's one of the things that helps me um, have longevity in playing and making videos is because I stay a noob for a long ass time, dude. Stay a noob, man. And I like competitive games. But man, when I used to play competitive, like Madden football, I would get pissed. I lost. I couldn't be... I couldn't have people around me like my family. I'd be mad at my wife taking shit out on her You know fuck dude that shit is bad dude. It is bad. You know you see people breaking controllers I never broke a controller, but I know that's a common ass thing man So I think I think it's a good thing Keep your noob status <laughs> For as long as you can man Keep noob status for as long as you can, dude. You will enjoy the game much more and for a much longer time. 
Boob status engaged. Boob status for your health, dude. That's what it's about. I embrace the noob. AOE smackers. That's right. Yeah, we all got to start somewhere. Oh, there's Taco. My boy. Taco's my boy. Yeah, I was super competitive at Madden, dude. I was always at the top of the leaderboards, rank seasons, tournaments. And uh, it was just a waste of my time because in Madden, every year, the game changes. So you would get good for a year. Then every year, a new game came out and you have to learn the new game. Things would change. Yeah, QB Vision. That was one of my uh, best Madden seasons. I was ranked number six online. It was uh, Donovan McNabb was on the cover. I was ranked number six online, dude. I was a beast. But yeah, it was a pain in the ass. I would just have my QB vision on like the opposite end of the field. And then I would go like other side, other side. And just like that. But yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Some some QBs had like a bad vision cone. Some had a good vision cone. It was a pain in the ass. But yeah, for a few years there, I was playing crazy. Truck stick, yeah, that was Ray Lewis was on the cover. That was huge. I think it was like 2004, 2005. I forget. I think Madden, uh, Vision Cone was 2006. Yeah, right around that time, dude, I was hard into that, dude. Halfback Circles was the play. I won a tournament. When that was a popular thing, I was the Packers with Brett Favre, and they had a running back, Amon Green. It was like a 97 speed. I'm going out there. I'm going out there. Bring it. Feed in. Yeah. Truck stick. Hit stick. Oh, the truck stick. I thought you said the hit stick. Yeah, the hit stick. Um, did they add that in the same year? Hit stick and the truck stick? I'm not sure. Remember the hit stick was with Ray Lewis. And then the, was it the same thing? Oh, yeah. It might have been the same thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hit stick. Truck stick. And I wasn't that great with the truck stick though, because with the truck stick you could whiff like you like stumble over your feet. I was more like a spin or a juke. But yeah, taking the games too competitive. I don't know. We'll see what happens with competitive games. I do like esports style games, especially if people can earn money. You know, if you can put Bitcoin into these games people can earn a living people people already do like they have the smite pro scene i'm sure they have league of legends pro scene 23 kills to one where was our against all odds buff it didn't happen we're just feed in order you know because what like streaming and um advertising and stuff People thought it was a pipe dream to be able to stream video games and make a living through advertising sponsors. Nobody, nobody thought that that was going to happen when video games came out, Twitch came out. And look, now it's popular. People make money streaming all the time. I think the same thing is going to happen with like a, a Bitcoin earning game. Where people don't think it's possible, and then it's just gonna happen. Going to pre made or suffer to queue? Yeah, I suffer to queue. I just suffer. What's well, up? Solo queue. Eventually, I'll hop in where uh, dudes are doing good. We get in there. We get it in. We get it in. I'm shocked Bitcoin is still a thing and all other cryptos, to be honest. Yeah, the other cryptos won't be a thing for long, but Bitcoin, <laughs> Bitcoin, it's like, it's like the internet, you know, it's, it's an, it's an invention like the internet, like email, you know, just, we're so used to money right now where 
yeah bitcoin unless it gets hacked you know unless bitcoin gets hacked it ain't going nowhere dude like email like saying email is going somewhere with the internet online gaming all the other cryptocurrencies yeah they're all centralized nonsense you know they're scams where somebody is in control somebody creates it but bitcoin bitcoin came out of nowhere nobody thought bitcoin could even exist it was created in a time when there was no such thing as a digital currency it was it was taboo no one thought it could even happen And people ignored it you know i fucking ignored it too i wish i didn't shit dude i remember hearing about bitcoin i don't even know what year it was but it was probably like 2013 if i had to take a guess and i was like man that's some bullshit fucking fake ass monopoly internet money i can't even afford to pay my bills in the real world I, how the hell am i gonna mess with that shit and look at it now look at me now dude like a salty ass bitch and I didn't even look into it. I didn't even research it. I was like, man, that's a scam, dude. Yeah, that's a scam. I, I, ain't even, I can't even be bothered to fucking look into it. That's an ego. That's our ego. But it's also our brain, how we process the world. We, we can't, you know, think about everything that we do. Some things in our life, like brushing our teeth, putting on our clothes in the morning, showering, are autopilot. We can't spend so much time on on everything so it's a little bit of ego it's a little bit of that our brains helping us process things by not thinking deeply on every subject then i came back around and actually started learning about bitcoin hey we gotta win and yeah i realized that it's amazing dude and that's what actually started prompted me to make these videos i was like damn this bitcoin shit's fucking awesome i can't believe it that i see this and no one else fucking sees this shit i gotta fucking do something bro i gotta tell the fucking world no oh. what yep so that's what i did so i started making a channel and i was like what the fuck am i gonna do i can't just get on here and blab about bitcoin all day can i eh, i don't know about that maybe but what else could I do? And I was like, well, I've been playing video games my whole life. Let me just fucking start playing fucking video games. And there it is. The channel was born. Your buddy made some money off of Dogecoin when Elon was trolling it. Yeah. Yeah. Dogecoin. That's one of the first ones too, man. But Dogecoin's infinite in amount like Ethereum, Dogecoin, all these... They don't have uh, scarcity, decentralization. It really is an amazing thing when you start looking into it. You know, the money that we have now, digital US dollars or whatever country you're from. You know, there's a group of 12 people that sit in a, a boardroom and they, they create that money for free in unlimited amounts. The US dollar digital, they decide what the interest rate's going to be, how much money they're going to create digitally for free. How much money they're going to delete digitally for free and the rest of the world has to go to work for that same exact dollar <laughs> Fuck, that is right so that's that's what the world will wake up to and be like wait a second hold on and that's it i mean that's just it right there that's it in a nutshell but once you understand that you say okay that makes sense that's shitty but how could bitcoin be the answer then you have to learn about Bitcoin and figure out is it the answer? Is it not the answer? I don't know. Only you can figure that out. And that's what everyone has to do. First, you got to figure out the problem. And you got to figure out what the solution could be. And it's a it's a personal choice. You know, money is a personal choice. You're, you'll just you, you, it's your time your value save it wherever the fuck you deem people can't really tell you what to what to buy you know it's like telling you what type of house you should buy it's like oh cape cod dude on the water man it's like nah i want you know fucking a rancher in the mountains 
It's a personal choice, man. You choose what you value. It's the same with money. More money, more problems. Yep, that's sure. That's for sure. We'll get this rainbow laser now. Get this baby. Come on. Come on. Get her. Oh, we got her. Nice work, y'all. Nice work. Small tables is back. Small tables. Yeah, money creates problems, opens doors. You know, it fixes some things, messes other things up. But we all need money to survive. And I'll be damned if I'm going to fucking spend my time and energy working for a money that another man could create for free. Fuck that. That's some bullshit. That is some fucking bullshit, dude. And that begs the question. What in the fuck even is money? Like I said, that's the question of our time. Every every generation has a purpose. Every generation has a cause. You know, like I said, the hippies, you know, they had some fucking cause. Uh they had some shit, whatever the fuck their cause was, you know. Our generation, our cause is what in the fuck is money? Yeah, these bitcoins, nah, these are uh these are poker chips. So I got a stack of 20, 20 poker chips that I just shuffle. What it does is um, a lot of people hate it though. They're like, stop the fucking chips. But what it does is it helps me connect with physical, me doing something physical with my thoughts, with my mind. Yeah, it's, it's basically like my fidget spinner, yeah. But it's a lot difficult. It's a lot more difficult than a fidget spinner. You know, I used to not be able to shuffle chips. Now, pretty fucking good. I've been doing this shit for years now. And it just helps me. Like when I sit here and I think, and I'm like, huh, this money thing. Cause it is some, it is a deep ass fucking thing. You know, I'm over here, just some regular ass Joe Schmo. Who the fuck is that guy? Talking about money and shit. And everybody else is like, nah, you're trolling. You don't know what the fuck, you know? So it's something so deep like that, just to think about it. And the rest of the world thinks you're a fucking idiot. So it just helps me get deep into that thought process and just be like, Hmm, I think about the game theory. I think about the dominoes. I think about the what ifs. I think about, am I wrong? How could I be wrong? What am I missing? Just, I just go deep. Deep in the brain. It just helps connect. And you have something physical going on when you're thinking. Like meditation, I guess. Pretty badass. And yeah, dude. Hey. Everyone will start thinking about money once they have a need for money. And also a belief, too, that it could be different. We we don't think it could be different. So then we're like, eh, can't fight the Fed. Can't fight City Hall. You know, we come up with all these excuses. Death and taxes. They're the definites of the of the world. You know, and well, we just have to accept that we're going to get dildo fucked. Yeah, there's all these things. So we accept the shit. We just don't think that there's a, a way out. But as more and more, you know, it's it's like a scale, man. That's how I say, right? We got the scale. And more and more people are just joining that the one side that's light it's light right now believing that damn maybe we can change this shit and just bloop, bloop. it's like it's like snowflakes which snowflake causes the avalanche it is one you know there's there's one fucking snowflake that hits that mountainside that causes that freaking avalanche to come down all crazy but which one is it? You know, snows it's been snowing for fucking days. Months. It's been fucking snowing, dude. But that one last little ass fucking snowflake hits that mountain and boom. Triggers. Triggers that avalanche. That's what's happening right now. You know, they have a saying for that. Slowly, then suddenly. And that's what's happening right now. More and more people are figuring out Bitcoin. More and more people are asking, 
what is money why are prices going up why am i even paying taxes when these motherfuckers can create money for free what in the fuck is going on and as more and more people come over to that side of the scale eventually it's gonna drop you know how scales drop then all of a sudden it's gonna be enough people that are saying yo bitcoin's money dude and that's that bitcoin's now money <laughs> and that's fucking it bitcoin's money what's up beautiful thing man it is a beautiful thing but that's why we do health family bitcoin in that order because money is not the most important thing of course i take care of your health i take care of your family and then we can start stacking all right that's gonna be it for this one thank you all for watching later